Hello everybody and welcome back to the last episode of Sandy Bay in single player. It's a sad day, it has been a truly astounding map, absolutely loved every minute of it. However, I say that, but we're going to return to this, this exact save game, and continue from where we've left off in multiplayer, just next week. So yeah, this is not the end, although it does seem in some respects it just is not the end of the map. It is a fantastic map and I'm going to continue it for 8 to 10 weeks on multiplayer. So yeah, still loads more to come yet. Uh, in fact, actually, if, if it goes down really well on multiplayer, it might even be more than 10 weeks, but that is the, the average amount of time that I keep a map on the multiplayer server for, about 8 to 10 weeks. Uh, so, yep, yeah, this is the cow field, and we've got loads of manure in here now. That can be used straight away when we get this onto multiplayer. Um, but yeah, the purpose of today's episode really is to just finish things off. And uh, by that I really mean getting rid of any mod tractors which we are not going to carry over onto the server, because obviously you would lose the money from them if we don't do that. Um, the IT runner will be going because that is a paid DLC. Although a lot of people think it is a bit strange that I don't carry the paid DLCs over, it's really because it makes it in, in some ways unfair to people who don't have that particular DLC. So no paid DLC will be on the server, but the free mods, some of them will be. The Massey Ferguson pack I'm hoping to have on there. Um, the fruit mod might be, I really don't know yet, because we've got our little orchard over there, and we've put some work into it. Can't really see it from over here. There it is, the orchard. Yeah, we've put some work into it, so getting rid of it would be a shame. Although, if we did get rid of it, literally this field would just return to normal. There would be no trace of it at all. So either way, it would work. It's just it's nice to have an orchard and to be able to do the fruit selling. It just adds a bit more to the game. Um, ah, now these silage pits, these, these I'm sure will be soon overflowing. Um, I can just imagine this map being brilliant for the silage harvesting. Uh, in fact, fur number 20 is growing now, and we should be able to see that from here as well. Yep, there it is, growing green over there. That is going to be, hopefully, the 100,000 100, subscriber special. Uh, so that is to come. We'll probably fill at least one of these pits, because that is such a big field. The wood chips, I didn't really do any wood chips on this map, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, maybe I should have done. But, yeah, we did it in court farms, so... There is only so many times you can watch me do wood chips, to be honest. Uh, so yeah, I've done pretty much everything I wanted to do on this map. We're going to keep the sheep, obviously, all the animals. This water and feed has actually lasted the entire time we've been on this map. So these chickens really don't eat or drink much. We should probably collect the eggs. We have a few eggs to pick up. And there is also the gold coins. Not sure if the gold coins work on multiplayer, but we've picked up 23 so far. So with that out of the way, let's just set everything up ready for the server. Really want it to just be a smooth process, we can just start straight away. And we are also going to buy some silaging machines today with the money which we get back from the mods we're not going to use because I want to just get straight into the harvesting in the multiplayer special. So I'll just take the slurry tanker off there. The John Deere, it's a bit of a tricky situation really. It is a very nice tractor, but I'd like to use it on other single player videos, so having it in the server might be a bit much, so I think we might get rid of it. It's a shame, I'm, I'm fully aware of that, but we're going to use it again, probably on Knaveswell. So we will take the John Deere and the conveyor over to the cell point. We then have the Amazon self-propelled sprayer, which is actually originally from Giants. This is Giants' mod uh, from FS13. So we're going to keep this in the server. Might as well keep it in the shed. It's a really good place for it. So we can use that again in multiplayer. Uh, the Merlot, I think we're going to get rid of. It's a good mod, but I just don't want to have too many mods in the server. So on the back of this, we will have the IT runner. Obviously, we're going to keep the bale spike. Apologies to anyone who thinks this episode is going to be a bit boring. Some people actually do like watching uh, me setting up the server ready. So, 
This is actually, I think, probably one of the first videos I've done this in. Might have done it once before. But yeah, it's actually been quite a requested video, this. Setting things up. So that is two things. Um, yeah, follow me won't be continued over. That will. The baler won't. Uh, all those cultivators will be, except for the Vardestad. Um The topper won't be... Yeah, I think that is all good. The Marshall trailer might be, actually. I think I will keep that. That is a good trailer. Ah, the Dominator. <laughs> no, the Dominator won't be continued over. It is such a good mod, though. Oh, I've got into the Ursus again. That always happens. Yeah, having the Ursus has also been quite a good experience. Having some older machinery in with the new is good. So with this we can get rid of the fruit trailers. Just for now. We might get these back though. And I would... <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> the trailer just jumped Mars into the air. I would just like to discuss the way that I have been playing Farming Simulator recently. I got quite an in-depth comment, or complaint actually, I think it was really, um, about the way that I have been working with new maps. And as you'll know, I have been continuing the money over onto the next map from another one. So for example, I would continue the money over from Sandy Bay onto Naveswell. And, um, Although it seems like a good idea to begin with, it really isn't, because for a start, the map is a completely different size, so the amount of small machinery you'll be able to buy with the amount of big machinery we had on this map would just be ridiculous, so there is no goal. So we are not going to, any longer, carry the money over. It's all going to be started from scratch, and a lot of people will be very pleased to hear this, at first, I thought it was a good idea, but no. <laughs> Looking back at it, it really isn't. So, we're going to go back to the old ways, how I started off doing Farming Simulator. Um, that was probably a bad idea. It was a terrible idea. Right, we are all back on track, and we all have a beacon. It's the flashing parade. Let's go down to the store, see what money we can get, and the money which we make on the Sandy Bay map now will be transferred over to, obviously, multiplayer, same save game, but it won't be transferred to any other map. Hopefully the Dominator can keep up. It's not very fast, so I will have to just slow down for it. We're all here, except for one. Well, I guess it's been said that slow and steady wins the race. Uh, maybe not in this case, though. I've decided just to speed off, because the others should catch up. The trail shouldn't disappear, so... Uh, in their own time, they'll drive to the store. The Merlot is surprisingly fast. That has caught up with us very well. Whoa! Look at the speed! It's sad to see it go. It really is. But we will return with that tractor in the future. Ah, here is the Ursus. And very slowly followed by that is the uh, Dominator. Very slowly followed. Let's see what we can get for this. I just can't believe 50 episodes have already passed. I mean, I did the first episode. I think I recorded it on New Year's Day. Which feels like yesterday. It really does. And it's now May? I can't believe it. I can't believe how time flies. It's, it's really scary. But I'm stopping at 50. Because... 50 episodes. Because um, I think you can overdo a map and then you start to make it go a bit boring which is something you really don't want it want, you don't want that to happen at all uh, so yeah stopping at 50 episodes I think is a good number 
That is everything there. Oh no, the uh, Emerson didn't get in. And finally, in its own speed, is the Dominator. And for the last time on this map, we'll turn the engine off. Ah, uh, it's been a good combine. We haven't really used it too often. I think it's done two fields in the end, but yeah, we're going to get it back. It's, a, it's such a good machine. So we now have, on the uh, positive side of things, £319,000 to buy other machinery with. Oh no, wait, I have found another loader. This is the JCB pack, so we're going to have to sell this as well. But we can leave the bucket. I can just imagine this being such a good map on multiplayer, I just can't wait for it. And the pigs and the beef cows we're going to leave. We're going to still do this in multiplayer. I might put the transport trailer on the server. Hoping to, because I never have done before. And that has meant that any map with the beef and the pig mod, it means you can't actually do the mod at all because there is nothing to sell them in or with. So, yes, we are likely going to be doing the beef and the pigs still in multiplayer. Just looking over there, I don't think there is anything. So, we'll continue. We just need to go and get the baler from the yard, because that one is going to be sold as well. This here is fill number 20. It's growing nicely. And I seem to remember this loader being quite expensive. Yeah, that is, that is pretty expensive, even for a, a sale price. So, what else is there? There is a baler, but I think that is it. Oh no! The Lexian! Totally forgot about the Lexian. That would be pretty nice in multiplayer. But, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be cramming the server up too much. So, hmm. It's, it's again one of those mods which I might add in the future, but just not straight away. Just because it would get way too chaotic. So yeah, we're going to just go and sell this, but we'll probably get it back again. This field can be bailed almost immediately in the server. I didn't realise how many different mods I actually have running on this map. Like even the roller back here. There is a lot of stuff which will just disappear if we don't sell it. So what I might do is I won't take them all to the store because it'd be just way too uh, time consuming. For the low value things I'll just sell. Um, but yeah, the baler and the tractor and obviously the combine harvester, we will just take to the store and sell them that way. But everything else we're going to keep. So yeah, all this stuff is going to be kept. It's not really until you look into your garage here to see what you've actually got when you realise how much stuff we've bought. Uh, so yeah, I think I've pretty much got rid of everything that I need to. Obviously stuff like the kiosks, they can just disappear. Um, but yeah, on the whole, this seems okay. Uh, yeah, just the class tractor, the massive baler, and obviously the, the harvester here. They're going to go to the sell point, but everything else has now been done. Yeah, it's always horrible to sell stuff, but if we don't sell it, we, we really will just lose all the money, which would be an even bigger shame. So, I think this is the right thing to do. So yeah, the schedule is now going to be changing for the coming weeks. We have got on Fridays, Saturdays and Sundays, it's going to be Knaveswell. And A Taste of Donegal is going to continue for now. Uh, but I'm actually surprised about the amount of people who complain on my videos on that map. Um, I guess it's just because I'm not from Ireland, so I don't know exactly how things work over there, but yeah, I try my best. I know that sometimes it is totally wrong, but that is why you watch these videos, to correct me on everything I do wrong, which is everything. So yes, just 
for the fact that I am not Irish myself, um, I don't know if I can continue to do that map and still please everyone. So I might be finishing that sooner than expected, like episode 15 or 20 or something. But we'll see. Just depends how everyone else feels about that. Uh, but yeah, I, I am surprised about some of the negativity surrounding my videos on there. Uh, but yeah, we'll have to just take it one video at a time and see how it goes. But after that, we will be moving on to, hopefully, uh, if it's out, the new map by Oxygen David, which is Thornton Farm, which is just one incredible map. This is Oxygen David's map. It's the next one on from this. They are seriously good. <laughs> they really are. So what I might do, as uh, Knaveswell is a smaller farm, uh, it's nothing personal. <laughs> I'll just swap Knaveswell to the, the Tuesday, Wednesday episodes and then have um, Thornton as Friday to Sunday but we'll have to see about that as well the follow me is still following so we should be able to sell these fairly easily it's always annoying when you start to follow me up and then you don't look at the minimap and it's just disappeared right on the other side of the map where you started it to be spending quite a lot of time here today. Right, the header trailer is going first, then the header, and then the harvester. Look at our money. That is incredibly high. But it will soon be spent. It's just incredible on, um, on the server how much money is spent on machinery. Like a million pounds goes nowhere. So actually that is quite a good amount. Let's begin buying harvesters. We're going to go for, we need to go for the crone, I think. Already, you see. Literally, you couldn't even buy, well, you could actually. Two. You could buy two crones, but probably not even with headers. So, yes, although that money looks like a lot, it really isn't. So, there we go, and, yeah, we actually can't afford a second harvester, which just seems ridiculous. We're going to need loads for the 100,000 subscriber special. Uh, we might just have to do a one-off, so I add loads of money, and then get rid of it again. Because I really, really want that harvest to be good. So we'll take this up to the farm. Ready for next week. I think it's going to be next week. Obviously, I don't know when I'm going to get 100,000 subscribers, but you can see an outlook of what you... Th what the predicted date of when it thinks you're going to get it. And I think it's looking at the 13th? I think, of May. So, that sounds good to me. I just can't believe I'm even close to that that milestone. 100,000 subscribers. You can't even begin to imagine how much I appreciate that. That is just incredible. It really is. Here's field 20. Another view. As you can see, it's all growing really well. It's all fertilised and everything, so this should be a very productive harvest. But it is just the one field, so I really don't know how long it's going to take to harvest. Um, like, it's a big field, but with a number of machines, it probably won't take that long at all. So there we have it. Sandy Bay Farm, 50 episodes on single player. It's been a total joy throughout, and it is sad to be finishing it. The only reason I'm finishing it is to make way for other maps, other incredible maps which need to be tested. So yeah, that is it for this single player series. Thank you very much everyone for watching. Thank you to Oxygen David for allowing me to do this video in the first place, these videos, a whole series of them. And I really do look forward to the next map series, and also Sandy Bay Multiplayer. So until then, thank you very much for watching, and hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.